In this short video, I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, approaches to uh, add table drains to the rural road. Uh, I've got open here my cross section template, and on the left hand side, I've added two codes LTD1 and LTD2. So, on the left hand side, what I'm going to do is create a string, and the levels of this table drain will be defined from the string. On the right hand side, I'm going to add a conditional table drain. So when uh, the table drain uh, would be in cut, uh, in a cut situation, then it will be added. But if we're in a uh, fill situation, the, the table drain won't be added and we'll just batter back to the surface. So I'll show you both approaches. Uh, to, to start off, um, I'm going to create an alignment for the, the table drain on the left. Um, I'm going to create this as an offset alignment. So if I select my main center line alignment, run the offset alignment command, I'm going to call this table drain. I don't want any more offsets on the right, but on the left, I'll add this one at about six meters. Click OK. So you can see that table drain alignment has been created. Now in order to control the levels of the table drain, I need to turn this into a string. So I'm going to run the string profile command, select on the alignment. If I want the table drain sections to line up with the sections on the main road, uh, rather than using the standard frequency, I can run add other strings and tell the software that the sections are going to align with uh, the center line alignment my rural road so I'll click OK to that I'm not going to go into detailed designing the levels of the table drain but what I will do is just lower the table drain um, let's just say one meter click OK okay um, so the next step now is to go into the design data form and I want to tell the software that the, the codes, the LTD1 code, is going to adopt the, um, uh, the let offset and level of the table drain. So I showed in previous videos how you can show a blue uh, line indicating the alignment. Um, you can also show the level of a string. So if I go to uh, project objects, I'm going to turn this alignment to show the table drain but I'm going to add another entry in to tell the software that I want to see the level on the table drain and what will happen is you'll see this pink dot which uh, indicates the, the, the current level of the table drain so next I'm going to add a variation in and the variation is called set code offset send all levels to string and I'm going to say grab the LTD1 code, which is this one here, and whole length change offset and level to the table drain, and add that. So you can see there now that the table drain is controlled by the string. And if I start editing the levels of the string, then, uh, then this will update. Now, you, I've got a quite a steep slope uh, leading uh, from the shoulder to the table drain. Um, another approach for this is to use the hold slope change offset uh, method and what that'll do is maintain the one in four slope I initially had and the table drain will still level to the string but the offset will change so the offset is changing uh, in order to match the level of the string we're maintaining that one in four slope. So on the right hand side, I'm going to create a conditional table drain. I can do that by using the uh, table drains command here. I'm going to set the change range that this occurs. I only need to fill out the right section. So the first thing is to set the shape of the table drain. I'm going to come out two meters and down say 0.5 and then we'll come across 0.5 and, and be flat. What you need to do next is set the uh, condition at which the table drain is inserted. So if I click on always, then the drain will always be put in. But in a fill situation, I probably don't want that to happen. So I could say, uh, look, only when the start of table drain is in cut, which is uh, would be the first point or the shoulder. 
um, I could say when end of section 1 is in cut or end of section 2 is in cut. So if I just go to a change where we're in cut, you can see that the table drain is forming, but when we're in fill, it's just battering down. So um, that can be easily uh, applied by using this table drain command. If you're in cut, say a millimeter, uh, you probably may not want to add the table drain in. So you can use this depth tolerance. So I could put in a value of minus 0.1. And so if I'm in cut more than 100 mil, then it will go in. Um, so I could change that maybe to 50 mil. So I'd have to be in a bit bit of cut in order to uh, uh, in order for the table drain to be inserted. And I've just changed the insertion uh, check to be this point as opposed to the shoulder. So there's a couple of methods to uh, to add table drains in. One controlled by a string, and the other one uh, a conditional table drain, depending on what part of the, the drain will be in cut.